How Canadian culture is influenced by American culture? A couple ways that America influences Canadian culture is American TV, the American film industry, and American stores and products. Let's start with American TV. A quick quote regarding the situation. Against the kaleidoscope backdrop of shared cultural ad artifacts and common video references, perhaps no nation has so habituated itself to an on-off American non-American identity as Canada, a nation exposed to intense U.S. electronic media invasion since the inception of radio broadcasting in the 1920s, the Canadian satellite policy of the 1970s brought Hollywood heroes and symbolic shadowlands to the remotest Canadian north via NBC, CBS, ABC, and PBS. Since then, the reality of Canadian television entertainment has been that almost 98% of Anglophone primetime drama is imported. Why is there so much American shows on Canadian TV? The answer is money. The most popular American imports are sitcoms and dramas. They are good bargains for Canadian television stations. The stations claim it would cost them 10 times as much money to produce their own programs as it would to subscribe to American favorites. Because of the amount of American content, Canada has created the Canadian Broadcasting Act to increase the amount and quality of domestic programming shown on Canadian stations. This does little to help as American TV is just more popular in Canada. For example, iTunes. Canadian iTunes sales for 2008 show that 80% was American content and 20% was Canadian content. What does this mean for our culture? What does this say uh, to the effects of values, beliefs, and norms? Does it make us lose national identity and feel more American? Let's take a look at American stores and products. In 2008, Richard Baker, an American tycoon, bought the Hudson's Bay Company. He got rid of Zellers, replacing it with um, the American Target. Even Tim Hortons, for a short period of time, was owned by Wendy's, an American company. Other American stores have opened up in downtown areas all over Canada, like Saks Fifth Avenue, Nordstrom, Target, Marshalls, J. Crew, and Bloomingdale's. This makes things harder for Canadian-based stores as they begin to struggle. For example, Montreal-based Le Chateau, Toronto-based Tabby, Montreal-based Jacob, and Vancouver-based Please Mom. What impact uh, does this have on culture? This affects Canadian culture because it makes the products we uh, buy more American and the cities we live in less original and more American-looking. Now let's take a look at the American film industry. Many big block, buck, blockbuster films are filmed in Canada with the intention of looking uh, like somewhere in the States. For example, the Twilight film was filmed in BC, the Incredible Hulk film filmed in Toronto meant to look like New York, Capote filmed in Winnipeg and meant to look like Kansas, Mean Girls filmed in Etobicoke and meant to look like Chicago, Brokeback Mountain filmed in the Rockies and meant to look like Wyoming, my Big Fat Greek Wedding filmed in Toronto and meant to look like Chicago. What does this mean for Canadian culture and Canadian cities and places as they masquerade as American? Why couldn't the films be played out in Toronto and Montreal? Does this make us lose our identity? Also, American producers have taken advantage of the favorable rate of exchange and lower labor rates to film in Canada while making Canadian locations look vaguely American as stated before. 
Canadian cinema also suffers from the fact that so much Canadian talent leaves home for Hollywood and the larger American market. For example, Jim Carrey, Mike Myers, Rachel McAdams, Ryan Reynolds, and Ryan Gosling. The largest film exhibition chain in Canada today, Cineplex Odeon, are controlled by American interests and show mostly mainstream American movies. It is clear then how this would affect Canadian culture and it makes it hard for our own film industry to flourish.